Good morning. Today we're going to do some coding. Code is simple steps that you give a computer for it to do what you want it to do. All right? So, to start with, I want you all to give me instructions on how to get to the whiteboard. If I stand here, go to the whiteboard is a bit lengthy. Try to make it smaller. Yes, step forward. Step left, very good. Step forward, step forward, step forward, very good. <clears throat> so now we have a new word. Say it with me. Algorithm, algorithm, algorithm. A list of steps that you follow in order to get the task done. So let's look at this picture. We have Flurb and we have an apple. Which way should Flurb step to get to the fruit? He should step forward. All right? So let's have these arrows on the board. Oh. <coughs> this will be step So we have step forward, step backward, step right, and step left. Let's do another one. Which way should Flurb step to get to the strawberry? Anna? Step forward? Oh no! That will go up, right? Chasey, step backward, very good. So now, when you have a list of steps, an algorithm, and you have multiple steps together, you form a program. Say it with me. Program, program, program. An algorithm that has been coded into something that can be understood and run by a computer or a machine. So let's have an activity. In your notebooks, in pairs, I want you to get flurb to the fruits. So I want you to write your, your algorithm. Take three minutes. Okay, all done. Before, we, before I get your algorithms, there's a new word. It's a bug. Say it with me. Bug. 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 A problem somewhere in your algorithm. <clears throat> all right. Let's have your algorithms. Anna, can I have your algorithm? Step right, very good. And step right again, interesting. All right, so now we have a new word, debugging. Debugging, 
debugging, debugging, finding a problem in your algorithm and fixing it. So let's see where the bug is in this algorithm. Right about here, Flurb does not get to the fruit. So we, should f we found the problem, now we have to fix it. So let's see what, can, what we can do. The first step was correct. Step right. What's next? Step backward. Very good. All right. So we found our problem and we fixed it. <clears throat> what about the next problem? Karen, can you help me? Step left. Very good. Step backward. Interesting. Step left again. And step forward. Okay. <clears throat> so, is there a problem in this algorithm? No, there's no problem. The goal was to get Flurb to the fruit. So, there's no bug, really. But if you think about it, computers use space disk space. So when you, when you make a program, you want it as small as possible. Unless you want Flurb to go this way for some reason, then it's fine. You can make Flurb go that way. But if you don't, really don't want him to go that way, then it's better to minimize your steps. So we'll go step left and step left. Now you've used two steps instead of four steps. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's have a look at how coding is done in a, in a code block software, all right? So here we have code blocks. And on this screen, we have a sprite and a background. So every program has a run function. That's the, the green flag. And so we can put blocks in. And finally, we have our program. Makes the sprite move, all right? That's how coding works. You can, so what can you do with coding? Yes, you can make games, you can make software, you can make PowerPoint, you can make basically anything. So finally, we'll have a quick look at Mbot. <clears throat> so this is a small robot. And this robot has a brain, just like Teacher Joe. At the beginning of the class, you, I acted as a robot. You gave me an algorithm, and I got to the whiteboard. The same thing you have to do with a robot. <clears throat> you have to give it 
steps in order for it to do something. So, <clears throat> let's give uh, Mbot some steps. Actually, <clears throat> we'll cut it there. <laughs> I forgot my phone. It's okay. We can cut it there. Uh, 